Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more LaGrange Point. Part of the Mystery Roms playthroughs. <coughs> and we're going to the factory because we're going to be doing some combining. So what I need to combine is a needle gun and a microbe gun first off. <coughs> that creates a sonic gun. It's a uh, rank two weapon. That's not what I'm going for. <coughs> and I wanted to show that animation of the uh, factory working because it's interesting. But next up, we have to combine the sonic gun and this metal disc. And that creates a beam sword. Which is going to be Cheen's new weapon. <coughs> and uh, so I have figured out the, uh, the <coughs> trick to uh, this... Uh, Factory business, I think. Um, the thing that was tripping you up was whether... What determined whether you got a sword or a... Or a melee weapon or a ranged weapon. Okay, I uh, don't need this for now. And so it turns out that um, if you combine two weapons of the same type, you always seem to get a ranged weapon. If you combine two, uh, a ranged and a melee weapon, you always seem to get a melee weapon. It's an odd thing, but you know what? I'm going to take it. That beam sword looks mighty powerful. I am happy with that. Now, let's see. Astro has an electro stick. I kind of want a metal disc on him because that was more powerful, too. I was kind of hoping for... to kind of have one person with a melee and one person with a single target gun, but... Well, maybe I can still do that. Solar gun. Get a special. I need a sonic plus a freeze. Yes, I do have a guide. No, I do not. I do not have any uh, abashment about using that at all. <coughs> this would be totally un, uh, totally unpredictable if I didn't. Gun, I need ice melee. I, I have. Oh, wait. Well, they're making things difficult for me. Okay, needle gun and freeze gun. Yeah, something a little bit more powerful for Astro because he's gonna need the help for a while. <laughs> he's behind in levels. Wait, that's a hit all. I was hoping for a hit one. This list doesn't tell me what hits one and what hits all. But kind of painful. Uh, 
Well, um, hmm. I don't know. I may have just kind of wasted a little bit of money here. Okay, maybe I went about this wrong. <coughs> Sonic knife and... Freeze gun. Probably shouldn't have sold that one, oh well. Because I noticed on that list there is no single target melee weapon. Uh, there is no... Uh, yeah, there is no s melee weapon for that. There's a single target gun and a multi-target gun. So maybe... Okay, well this gives me the metal disc. You know what, I'll just go with it. We'll have two uh, melee weapons. Because I think it's not... I'm starting to think it's not melee and... It's not melee and ranged, but <coughs> single target and multi target. So, yeah, I'm still I'm learning on the fly here. <coughs> but a metal disc is more powerful than an electro stick anyway. That's as high as I'm going to be able to go with Astro, because he's kind of still needing a little bit of... <coughs> a little bit of levels before he can do anything. <coughs> he needs a lot of power before he can start equipping uh, uh, rank 3 weapons anyway. So, at least he'll be able to keep up in terms of attack and defense. His HP is kind of scary low, though. All right. Now I need to try and find an actual place to go here. But now that I have uh, the ability to recover my status, the scorpfishes aren't going to be as annoying, I don't think. I'm still going to have to hope that I have enough BP, but <coughs> such is life. Okay. I want to use map file 2. Okay, I might be able to get around there to there. That might be my destination. Yeah, it kind of depends on whether I can go up and around here. And having my fastest character having a powerful multi-target weapon is very helpful. Without question. Oh. But having those powerful single target weapons is also quite useful. I just have to watch that BP. Okay. I think I can go down here. <coughs> Now 
There's the anemia, and that's why I brought Astro. I'm going to wait till after the battle, because it doesn't really seem to have much effect in battle. Which is an odd way to do poison, but yeah, you, know, you do you. Game. Yeah, it uses a bit of BP, but uh, it's not a huge amount, actually. And Astro's not going to be my primary attacker anyway. Another rank for Ast uh, for Tick this time. Attack. <coughs> tick attack. Who cares? I was almost there. Really? Nice to get done with all that in one turn. Oh dear. This is a dungeon. I mean, I'm gonna have to come here, but I was... Barth? Confusion! Just what I needed. Will Cheer help him out of that? Doesn't seem to matter at this point. Can he heal himself? Yes, he can. Okay. This I will be coming back to, I promise. But at the moment, I need to find a... a safe spot. His enemies definitely do seem a little bit tougher, but not, like, crazy, like, chire. Also, they heal themselves. Lovely. Oh, got iron pills. Okay, they give a lot of experience, though, so I appreciate that. Okay. So that's gonna be my next destination. First, I need to find a... Spot to save and recover and do all that good stuff. I mean, after all, I need to know my where I can rest myself a little bit. Other than that one tower, central tower that is just kind of always available to me. But there's got to be some plot stuff going on. Okay, I think I kind of like these upgraded weapons here. 
It takes a while to get, be able to get to use them, but it's worth it. Okay. Since I'm right here, I will heal up. But I need to go finding a city of some sort. <coughs> or at least an encampment of some, something... Something that has civilization. Alright. Back in pristine condition. <coughs> or as pristine as I'm going to get. Okay. Let's head this direction and then use the map again to see if I can see anything. Hey, Scorefish, you don't bother me all that much anymore. Amazing what being able to regularly heal a status effects does to the annoyance level of an enemy. I might be over enough that the map will... Yes. Okay. Now, I have, it has not escaped me that this map is based on a cylindrical format, so that makes me wonder if I can just, if there is no gaps in the land, if I can just eternally rotate. Okay. <coughs> okay, well, there's uh, something that I can't get to yet. I need a plane for it, I'm guessing. But I see something that looks like a place of importance. Yeah, that's gonna demand a plane. Nice to see some enemies are easy enough to beat anyway. <coughs> and through we are. So is this my base of operations? Yes it is. This is Potadia Town. The BioCorp attacked and they took everything, so we can't open any shops. Well, that disturbs me. I'm Nori, soldier, wanderer, looking, looking for Professor Stolte? I'll ask Noko and Yutaka about it. They're exiles too. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. The BioCore created a swamp between us and where Virgil and the others are. If we gain, regain control of the weapon stockpile, we can reopen the stores in town. That sounds like a good thing. We were attacked by the BioCore. They ran sack with the shops, then Virgil and the others chased them to the weapon stockpile. They were surrounded. A totally hopeless situation. We got attacked. It was really scary. You know, you know, you from Land One? Do you know Chris? She's my friend. 
Yes, I have her, uh, have her sitting and chilling. I'm a scientist who fled from Center City. The area near the waterway to the west is full of enemies. The only way through is via Kaiser Road. You'll only be able to make it if the waterways are dry, however. They aren't at the moment. I'm Scott from the Batadia Unit. The Biocore stole our potato disc. My brother tailed them to the northern mountains, but he turned the area into a swamp and trapped them. Oh, if only I had a hover plane. I feel like I'm saying the same thing myself right about now. Let's go ahead and get a rest. And I don't know if there's anything I can do here. I'm going to have to check. <coughs> for the time being, though, I think that's enough for this episode. So that's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.